Okay, now we're going to talk about how scientists distinguish solutions. Let's say, for example, I mix up three solutions. I've got about oh, 50 milliliters in each of these containers. Now, I've got 50 milliliters of solvent in each of these containers. In this case, my solvent is water. And I'm going to add some solute to them. But I'm going to add different amounts of solute. In the first solution, I'll add about, oh, about a quarter of a teaspoon of solute. In the next one, oh, about half a teaspoon. And then in the next one, oh, I'll add about two teaspoons. And I'll stir them up. And you'll notice a difference between each of them. This solution, where I added a quarter of a teaspoon of solute, is quite weak looking. It's very light. This one's a little bit darker because I added a little bit more solute. And this one is quite dark because I added quite a bit of solute. Now, the way that scientists classify solutions is based on their concentration. So if you look at each of these three solutions, this one is not very concentrated. This one is called dilute because it doesn't have very much solute in it. This one's a little bit more concentrated because it has a little bit more solute. And this one is very concentrated. So we call this one the concentrated one because it has so much more solute than the other three. So we've got dilute, a little bit more concentrated, and then this one is the concentrated one. And if you think about sometimes when you make uh, orange juice from a frozen can, it will say from concentrate. That means that they've taken all of the water out of it and concentrated it. So they've made it extremely concentrated. And then what you will do is you will add some water to make it less concentrated and drinkable. So that would be more like a glass of Kool-Aid that you could drink when you add a little bit more solvent.